So the one form board was twisted so bad here that I had to attach this other piece of 2x4 and then use the quick grips to bring it back into place. This form board bowed kind of out, so I just kind of pushed it in as much as I could and then used the concrete sticks to hold it into place. So I decided to try out these rebar chairs for this project and um, they were very easy to work with and I definitely recommend it if you have like a little project like this and you want to get the, uh, the rebar up off the ground and nice and secure to each other, this is, they're really handy. Good morning, good morning guys. We're back at it again with another video. Brian's never done concrete work today, so joke's on him. He has no idea how much work uh, is in store for him. But um, yeah, mixing a, mixing a lot of concrete for a, a size of a pad like this is, is something that a few people can certainly do. It is a lot of work. We're probably gonna be mixing concrete for at least two or three hours. I can't remember exactly how many bags that this calls for, how many 80 pound bags, but it's, around, it's definitely over 100. So if we can do about 40 bags per hour, then we're, then we're looking pretty good, so. Wow, I'm doing the math already. <laughs> and also check out Brian's channel, Midlife Prices. Uh, so they're actually our neighbors, they just live. We can actually see their, their, their RV from the corner of our property there. So him and his wife, Pam, uh, they're gonna be doing the entire off-grid thing and you're documenting a lot of it as well. Yep. All right, cool. <laughs> so I'll leave a link to their channel in the description box and also in the comments section. And um, it's just after six o'clock in the morning, so we're gonna we're gonna get started because uh, we want to get the, as much concrete down as quickly as possible because it's gonna dry pretty fast. Uh, what's really nice since the pad is so small that we can wet it down uh, quite easily and uh, keep it uh, keep it from curing too fast. All right, let's begin. I do want to say this Kushlan mixer was really nice to work with. Um, it's, uh, it just runs on 120 volts and it can handle two bags at once. Just got it at Home Depot. And it's really nice because you can just wheel it right from the mixer directly into your, uh, into your formwork.
to do a pad this size, having two people is definitely necessary. And I rented this bowl float from, uh, from Home Depot. It was, uh, I think, just $17 for the day, and it really made floating this size of slab quite easy to do. And if you're doing like a 10 by 16 or 12 by 16 slab, I definitely recommend getting it. I noticed at this point that the concrete that we first poured was already starting to harden up pretty quickly. It's just so dry here. So I'm already edging it, and here we are just finishing off the rest of the slab. And what I should have done is I should have started troweling basically the, the concrete that we poured at the start much earlier. And that just comes with the experience of doing concrete work. So I'm just using a kneeboard here to get out and trowel the concrete. I should have done this a lot sooner um, in the process. I did have to wet the concrete down just a little bit just so that it was still malleable. All right guys, so we poured the slab just a few days ago. I ripped off the forms the following morning and then I just cut a control joint through the middle there. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing for a design on this to do the etching and the staining, but I do have to wait a month until we can come back and, and do, the, uh, do the staining on the slab here. I can definitely tell a big difference between the slab for our garage and for this one that I did myself. So definitely having the experience with concrete to know um, exactly what times you should be floating and troweling and all that kind of stuff and having extra hands on deck to be able to do that just because the one side here was drying and we we're still kind of pouring on this end so I didn't get um, I didn't get over to trowel this side fast enough but overall it's pretty smooth and I did wet it a little bit with the hose just so that I could go back and kind of trowel it which uh, which definitely did help but overall, it came out pretty nice and I'm, and I'm quite satisfied with it. Awesome guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll be at the Homesteading Life Conference in Hannibal, Missouri with uh, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, August 12th to 13th. I think there's at least six or seven other presenters that are gonna be there talking about all things uh, homesteading and living off grid. It's gonna be quite an awesome event. So I hope to see some of you guys there. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace.